Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one whole year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about a legendary hero which is pretty limited uh, for a free-to-play players, but in my opinion, uh, he is one of the best uh, legendary heroes in the game, which is used in a many different hero pairs, many different legion types. Well, there is already been one of the most important heroes uh, throughout the game from the season one. Unfortunately, this hero is not a free-to-play friendly hero. There is impossible for us to get uh, this hero in a natural, organic way. You have to pay. Uh, but yeah, we still need to speak about that hero, which is, of course, uh, Hosk. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best and unique legendary heroes in the game. Uh, generally, if you want to unlock Hosk, you have to buy the Honor exclusive uh, bundles, bundles throughout through the VIP shop. Um, I'm not the one who should advise you uh, where you should pay your money or not, but uh, as you already know, I am generally do not paying uh, any money in the games, so all I'm trying to have a organic fun. So, if you want to have a great, great legendary hero which you will use in almost every single aspect of the game, uh, then you will going to have Hosk in your lineup. Uh, this is like the only way from where we can get Hosk uh, generally. Uh, like, there is not any other ways you should just pay. There is only two legendary heroes uh, which uh, have been with us uh, from the day one. Uh, first one is Hosk and second one is Lilia. Uh, I have already spoke about Lilia, now I will speak about Hosk. I know I don't have him, uh, but I think I have enough experience, I have seen enough wars in order for me to speak uh, directly about any legendary heroes, especially the oldest ones. Uh, first of all, as always, uh, the skills of the Hosk. Um, as I mentioned, Hosk is a mainly buffer and mainly tanky uh, overall hero. And as always, one first skill is one of the most important in every single heroes, doesn't matter legendary or epic. Hosk Legion gains skin, vigor, rampage, increasing their attack by 10%, their HP by uh, 10, and well, attack bonus is 20%, HP bonus 30, and damage deal bonus 10%. Well, this is very interesting first skill because uh, I will explain why. Uh, Hosk Legion gains Keen. Keen is for Marksman Legions, Vigor is for uh, Infantry Legions, and Rampage is for uh, Cavalry uh, Legions. Now you already understand how unique this hero is and how many uh, hero pairs you will be able to use him and you will be pretty happy about it. The second skill, when launching a rally, Hosk normal attacks uh, have a 30% chance to reduce the target's physical defense by 4% for 3 seconds. Uh, this skill is only used uh, regarding like on the rallies. Uh, I'm not sure, like, this is not an open field skill, so this is one minus about the Hosk. The third skill, you are getting defense bonus 25%, normal attack damage bonus 40%. 40 is a lot of uh, percentages for normal attacks and uh, this already tells me that it will be uh, host will be great for archers uh, in the team. The fourth skill, like one of the most unique uh, like skills in the game, which is maximum legion capacity bonus fifteen thousand. That's a lot. It means that doesn't matter which kind which kind of legion uh, you are going to have and, and use, so you will be tanky, and that's pretty important. There is only three heroes in the game which has something like this. It's a host. Uh, it's Madeline and it's Indies, so like this is very unique for the Hosk gameplay. Awakening Hosk gives us like passive skill. After Hosk Legion receives a buff effect, their normal attack crit rate is increased by 6% and their counter attack crit rate is increased by 6%. Well, it's easy to get buffs on Hosk because almost every single skill uh, which we have here is giving us some buffs, attack bonus, HP bonus, damage deal bonus, uh, defense bonus, so it's pretty easy to uh, trigger this uh, furious charge uh, whenever you are simply just using Hosk on a, or any other uh, hero pair in the game. Uh, the synergy is pretty simple, you are buffing uh, whoever and what kind of legion you whatever you want to use. Uh, also, you have 
a lot of uh, maximum uh, legion capacity 15,000 more legions than the legions who doesn't have Hosk at all and this is pretty unique i love Hosk. i wish Hosk was usable for a free to play players because that's the only uh, legendary hero i want to have 100 percent but unfortunately it's not for free to play players uh for the talents i'm not going to speak more deeply about talents because in order to see the talents i need to uh have hosk um, but yeah as i said i'm not paying for the uh, the hero uh in general overall rally and precision precision is one of the best talents for marksman uh, legions and marksman units in my opinion uh, like the best talents for every single uh, unit type is like mages is for skill marksman is precision tank is uh, like infantry is tank and cavalry should be mobility that's why i think hosk uh, mainly exceeds uh, in marksman legions but uh, like in general there is only two types of gameplay uh, overall tree or precision tree which i have asked a lot of pay to win players Unfortunately, I'm not able to dig dive uh, inside and see what kind of talents uh, Hosk has. Uh, I wish it was possible, but uh, unfortunately, I don't own him. So, uh, like, that's all I can speak about talents regarding Hosk. Now, like, what's the most important hero pairs? As I mentioned in the earlier video, uh, like, there is a lot of usage in Hosk, but there is, of course, one main one. Uh, which is Hosk Inara or Inara Hosk. I would prefer to have Hosk as a primary because of uh, precision talent tree. Uh, but in general, this is a great uh, new strategy, which means that you are going to use Marksman, which will be tanky, and you are going to deal a lot of counter-attack damage. Uh, you are going to get a lot of legions, 15,000 more troops, which means more uh, tankiness, HP. Well, uh, like generally uh, Hosk will buff Kinara and Kinara will do all its job while Hosk will give us more tankiness. It's amazing hero pair especially for tier 5 players because it's hard to kill them and you are dealing absurd amount of damage. Uh, this is main reason why I want to have Hosk and I wish it was a free to play uh, player's choice too. Uh, this is in my opinion the best hero pair for the hosk which is kinara but other than that of course you can use hosk for example uh hosk until kinara was popular became popular uh, hosk was used with the madeline and of course madeline is another legendary hero which is giving us 15,000 uh, legion capacity and it was all about being tanky and all about deal as much counter attack damage uh, like you can understand 30,000 uh, more troops than your enemy uh, you have infantry legion and you are doing everything totally fine this is like infantry hero pair which i think will work uh, with the hosk uh, and of course there is a cavalry one because we have rampage here uh, like simply emrys is amazing uh, with hosk uh, like any other legendary heroes, cavalry heroes will be totally fine. Even Bakshi can be 100% fine, of, like simply because Hosk is giving you big or two, which means uh, HP bonus for your legion. Uh, but like generally, if you have Hosk, and especially if you already awakened Hosk and you are pay to win player, you are going to use Hosk with Ginara. That's like main and most important. Uh, hero pair for this legendary hero uh, regarding uh, hero uh, artifacts um, like one of the most important aspect of any heroes uh, in my opinion for hosk uh, there is like couple of choices so uh, where you can go uh, first of all for hosk and kinara hero pair rattle spear is a best choice actually it's a exclusive um, artifact for kinara's um, legions that's why like if you have rattle spear use it on hosk uh, if you don't have a uh, rattle spear then like shadow blades uh, can be totally fine like pure damage factor um, marksman artifacts but in general i think uh, like you are tanky enough uh, with your host and you will be you will be benefiting more if you have uh, attack stats on your artifact on your host legion uh, if you don't have uh, shadow blades like there is of course other choices any kind of legendary marksman artifact mainly for the uh, attack bonuses will be totally fine 
Uh, if you are going with the infantry style, again, um, like there is a couple of choices, Spring of Silence, uh, Dragon Rift, especially with the Medellin uh, Legion, uh, because Medellin likes to get a physical kin, which can uh, increase your attack uh, bonuses, like attack 16% for 6 seconds. 6 seconds is a lot, so that's why I think it will be fine. In general, I think uh, on the Hosk, uh, if you are choosing to play with him, you need to have a more offensive style of artifacts because you have your defenses enough. Uh, that's why it's obvious choice. Uh, if you are going with Cavalry, Spring Blades, uh, Kingslayer, also here is like Solan's Blade, like any time. Uh, any offensive artifact will be fine. Let's say you are your gameplay is different from mine and like you have different opinion. You can always go with some um, defensive artifacts such as uh, Feng of Ashkari, which is gonna give you a lot of legion defensive stats. Uh, like uh, any other choices, I guess you can go Heart of Kamasi if you want to have a defensive marksman legion uh, with your Kinara. But I would suggest to have a Rattle Spear on Kinara uh, and the uh, Hosk Legion, it will be much, much better. Uh, for the Warpets, so which have been a already kind of old introduction to our game and very important, I'm having a lot of fun playing around with the uh, Warpets and building them one by one. As you already know, I have done guides one by one with every single. Uh, like a war pit uh, in my on my channel if you will love to see it I'm like I will be more than happy for the host uh, marksman legions I think like in general like this uh, uh, concentration skill like simply because of defense break will be fine because uh, like in general Kinara likes to have a defense break uh, on the opponent and that's how you are dealing a lot of damage if you are going with some infantry style like Venomous, Le Venomous Lizard uh, will be fine, uh, like some damage from the infection. Also Sand Lizard if you wish to have some more heals uh, on your uh, infantry, but if you are generally like to go with a Uyghurs type of gameplay, uh, then the friendship is going you to give you some vigor on your host, which means you will have a lot more heals and a lot more HP. This is like choices which you can like anytime make. This is why I think uh, Hosk is uh, so popular that there is like uh, at least five or four types of gameplay how you can work Hosk and every each of them will be average or good. Uh, that's why like even if you are mage player you can simply run Hosk and Lilia and Lilia will deal a lot of damage because she will be uh, staying alive a lot more. I wish, uh, in general, Hosk was usable for a free-to-play players. That's my, uh, like, one of my second favorite uh, legendary heroes. Uh, like, first one is Kinara, and you should understand how much I'm uh, sad that I don't, I won't be able to get Hosk in the game. Uh, this is all I wanted to speak. Uh, I have been wanting to speak about Hosk, and in general. I always uh, like move backwards whenever I'm, I want to speak about hero which I don't have, uh, but I want to speak about them because I have enough uh, experience. One year is not a small amount of time playing this game as a free-to-play player. Uh, like I wish in the future there will be a way uh, somehow to get uh, legendary heroes, which was hard for us to unlock. Uh, but until then, uh, it is what it is. Um, I, I'm always trying to be positive because I'm not. I'm not playing games in order to be negative. It gives me positive vibes. I'm having fun, and I hope you guys are having fun too. Uh, thanks for watching. This is all I wanted to share. Uh, the about Hosk, one of my favorite legendary heroes. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the video and you like uh, get a new information which you did not know in the past. If you did, press like, subscribe, comment, share your opinion. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. I'm going to see you very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.